Welcome back, my friends. The election season is here as the presidential race to the White House continues to heat up. So it is time to help you plan how you are going to exercise your right to vote. It's my pleasure to have Danita and Terry here joining me. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? Good, Good. afternoon. How are you? Thank you for having us. Of course. So delighted. Now you're on a mission to get everyone to the poll. Tell us about souls on the poll. So souls in, to the polls. Yes, right? souls to the souls polls. To the poll. So now in Michigan, we have nine days of early voting. Okay. So we are encouraging our residents in Saginaw County to come out and vote before the primary election, oh. which is on Tuesday, August 6th. So we have partnered with the NAACP, Saginaw League of Women Voters, and our faith-based community to bring their congregations to the early voting center on Sundays when they are done with their worship services to cast their vote. And why do you feel that that's so important to do the early voting? Why is that such a, a, a big goal of yours, a big uh, mission? There's a lot at stake this election, mm -hmm. not just nationally, but locally as well. And so we want people to realize that they don't have to wait until the primary election right. day that we voted to have these nine early days and it's up to us to take advantage of them. It's convenient too. Convenient, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So a lot of community organizations are coming together. I know you're big about getting the community together. Why is that one of your missions and your goals? To really get everyone to work together to get everyone to the polls? Well, uh, one of the themes this year yeah. is all in, mm. which simply suggests that all of us have to unify our efforts uh, and to uh, make sure that we encourage everyone to be a part of this thing that we call democracy. Yeah. And the very first step, foundational step, is voting. I mean, we need to elect people that we think represent our, our interest and right. will carry out and be accountable to us. And so it's critically important that we just reach out to everyone and say, listen, it's time. We're all in this together. Yeah. Let's make it happen. And just, it's your freedom. Just get out there and vote. Yes. You know? So tell me a little bit about, you have an event coming out uh, that's coming up for people to yes. get informed. Yes. So this Sunday, um, August 28th, okay. we will be at the Early Voting Center all day long. The hours are 9 to 5. And around here in Saginaw, most worship services start at 11 o'clock. So we will be out there basically having a party at the polls oh. all day long until 5 o'clock. There will be food trucks. There will be vendors. We will have tables and chairs available because it's a small place. And so we want people to be able to sit down yeah. and, you know, relax before it's their time to vote. So we'll have water, beverages, and we will be out there all day with information also on what they can expect to see on the ballot before they go in as well. But I love it. It's, I love also that it's important for you to give free rides to those who need to get to the polls. Even. Sure, That's absolutely. a big part of it. That's part of the law now that churches yeah. and other civic groups can actually transport people to the polls. We can't tell them who to vote okay. for, mm -hmm. but we can share information about the voting process. And so one of the important things that people need to understand, if you're going to show up, you have to have already applied for your ballot okay. and have your ballot because it's going to actually be run through a tabulator, like oh, going to the right. actual bowling, right. polling place. So uh, if you don't have your ballot, mm -hmm. uh, then you won't be able to do that. But it's a convenient option. I need a message from both of you to tell people, get out there and encourage to vote. What is your message? Um, my message is there is so much at stake and we can't afford to for anyone to sit at home. Our young people especially, we need everyone to come out and to cast their vote. Yeah, don't think your vote doesn't count because every your vote, vote absolutely so counts. Every vote counts. Important. Election after election has proven that. Yeah. Um, my thoughts are very similar, but I, I want to just take it a, a half a step further sure. and suggest that sitting at home the sofa doesn't vote no it doesn't. your video game doesn't vote no. uh, and so once again when you step away from that process you actually defer and give somebody else your vote and so uh, if you want to make a difference in our community and in our nation start by voting yeah it's nice to take your kids too because they can see the process absolutely go i'll on. be bringing my, my 16 year old he can't right. vote yet exactly. but i'll be bringing him with me to get them ready and say this is what you're going to be doing when you're absolutely. ready to, to vote thank you for what you're doing for the community we appreciate both of you thank you thank for, you having, for us. having us we'll of get course. back with you a little bit later about yes. our freedom fund oh i'm ready <laughs> for that yes definitely if you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show you can send them to us at wnm 4 pm news at wnem.com just use the subject 4 pm new spotlight